What's up, YouTube? How are you doing? Chana D or Techno Dad here with another setup video for the Hisense H9G. Now, if you have this TV, you'll want to subscribe up to see more H9G videos. They are on the way. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, today we are going to set up ARC so you can get Dolby Atmos from your TV's apps to the external audio device like an AV receiver. We will be using the Denon X6500H and you will need to connect the main HDMI output on the Denon, which is also the ARC port. It's here in the middle with the white background. On the H9G, we will need to connect the AVR to HDMI 1, which is the ARC port on the Hisense. So here in the Netflix app, I searched for a movie called Okja, which is the first movie Netflix had with Dolby Atmos. As you can see from the description, we have Dolby Vision and 5.1 audio, no Dolby Atmos. So let's hit the menu button on the H9G. That's the three lines button on the remote. Scroll down and select sound in the menu. Audio output is already set to ARC, but if it isn't on your TV, go ahead and select ARC. Next, we scroll down to advanced settings and then scroll down and select Digital Audio Output. We need to set the TV to the second option, Pass Through. All right, now back out of the menu and get back into Netflix. Let's back out of Okja's info screen and back into it. Now we get the double Dolby logo for both Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos support. We can also confirm Dolby Atmos on the front of the Denon X6500H. Now, of course, you need to set up the Denon 4 ARC. If you don't know um, how to do that, I believe I made a video about that. So make sure uh, you check the description box or the card up top. I also went into Voodoo to see if we we're getting Atmos there as well. And yes, we are getting Dolby Atmos in the Voodoo app. And I wanted to check out if we get Atmos on the Disney Plus app. And it looks like we do not. It's still 5.1 audio, so it looks like the Disney Plus app on the Android TV in the Hisense does not support Dolby Atmos. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We got Dolby Atmos set up properly, and some of the apps support it, and some do not. It just depends on which ones do, and there you go. You're pretty much good to go. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.